if Blake and I wear the same skinny jeans, they're either going to look perfect on him and look like someone just painted these <laughs> on me, or they're going to look great on me and look like he's swimming in his like older brother's clothes. Yeah. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about our top five favorite denim brands. There's a million different denim brands out there and a ton to choose from and obviously it's a very personal thing based on like height, body type, what's going to fit you the best. So obviously Blake and I didn't agree on much because we do not have the same body type so what fits him perfectly probably does not fit me perfectly. Originally this was supposed to be a collaboration of our top five denim brands overall but we kind of we don't, we don't wear the same denim, no. really. So it's George's top five and my top five. Yes. So basically what I look for in denim is something that fits me in like the upper part of, my, of me. Like if it fits from the, the thighs and the waist, then I'm, I can tailor the rest and kind of taper a leg if I need to. But there are a few brands that like fit me phenomenal off the rack. See, I'm the total opposite. So usually, Denim fits me really loose around the thighs and you know, it just it makes me look like baggy or you know Even if it's skinny or what they call skinny. It's not skinny. So I mean, yeah, I've, I've been I did trial and error I must have tried on and bought 40 different pairs of denim, but I feel like I finally narrowed down my favorite five yeah. and it's like it goes from price ranges of $40 to $400 exactly. Yeah, we've we've kind of figured out like all the whole spectrum of prices. So however much you want to spend, we definitely have something in that category. So if you're looking for cost effective options, for me, I love Levi's um, 511s, um, also cotton on. I cannot say enough good things about their denim. They fit me perfectly. I do usually wear like a 33, so I use a, a 34, so I size up in cotton on, but they fit awesome. Definitely check them out and I think their jeans are like 35 bucks. Okay, so economically speaking or cost effective, I like, actually, I actually have them right here. I prefer good old H&M. So, I mean, these bad boys will cost you anywhere from $19.99 up to a pricey $55, I think it is. H&M's made for them skinny boys. They, they are. Look at the, look, I mean, I, I gotta open it up, guys. So, if you have thin legs like I do, these are gonna fit you perfect. Um, they're great to wear like pretty much all around. They're cool. The only issue I have with H&M is going to be the waist because the waist tends to be low rise. And so it's kind of hard when you when you like when you're wearing uh, a blazer, or you want to tuck in your shirt because your waist looks like it's way down there. Yeah. And now for our mid level denim, we have something that's around the price point of 80 to about 150. So mine is going to start with Top Man. Top Man is something that they also make really great skinny jeans like super skinny if, you, if you're into that me i'm like regular skinny but uh again they have various different types they have like a million different colors a million different styles so i think that's why i love them a lot again the issue i have with them is that they also make a lot of low-rise denim yeah. so it'll make you look shorter guys so i'd have to go with mott and bow probably hands down my favorite denim brand i wear it pretty much I'd say 75% of the time I'm wearing denim. And they're you know, direct to consumer so they can keep the price point low. They're all about the science of denim. So they do like, you know, great, great washes. Great, they have three different sizes if you don't like the skinny jeans, but skinny fits me like a glove off the rack. I'm wearing them right now. And yeah, I mean, if you're unfamiliar with the process of denim and how it's made, maybe check out the website, Mountain Bold. They do a great job at explaining thoroughly how denim is made and processed. So if you have a little bit more money to spend, there are some, some luxury brands that we really like. And Hudson has to be one of my favorites. They do like very interesting styles. It's a more rugged look. So if I'm trying to go a little outside the box, I definitely go, I go Hudson. So I have three favorites. I have Paige Denim is- He's is, bougie. <laughs> Paige Denim is one of them. I also, I also can back Paige because they make two different yeah. sizes of skinny which one fits me perfectly. I mean, I love Paige. Okay, so Paige, Paige <laughs> is one of them. Joe's jeans is, is another. They do a new, like, a kinetic line, which is what I wear on the plane, because it feel like I'm wearing sweats, but it's denim. Again, these are all pretty much tailored for the skinny guy, yeah. like myself. So if you have chicken legs, these are for you. But Paige makes a second level, so George can wear them as well. And then last but not least, we have, uh, like, a salvage category. So if you guys don't know much about salvage denim, it's very, 
personal, like you gotta wear it constantly. It's you, you have to break it you in. You really gotta break it in. It's yeah, like yeah. it's like a work boot of a. There's tennis. also like different weights, like you know, so it, they could be like 14 ounces or 16 ounces. Right. Or denim guys really get into you know yeah. if, if the jean can stand up on its own without having <laughs> any legs in it, then it's heavy enough. But with that, you know, I love Baldwin denim. I feel like they've done a great job at you know marketing. You know, they have great product. They started out very early on. Uh, I own one pair and I've owned them for like four years. And they still probably look exactly to the be, same. You know, completely honest, I've never washed them. So you, you can't know, wash them. I've never washed them, so I mean, they're great. I love them. I usually ride my motorcycle with them. Uh, I just feel like a man when, when I'm rocking those, you know, salvage denim. Yes. For mine, it would have to be rail car denim just because they're local to California. They're like, like one town away. You can literally go to their shop. They will fit you. They will tailor the jeans to you if you go there obviously you can buy them and get them tailored but the best thing about that is if you ever rip a hole in the denim you can send it back to them they will fix it sew it up and it's like how about that and then they will send it right back to you so you could have this denim for life if you wow. wanted to and then it would look like some distressed disheveled denim like we did a post on but you actually distressed them yourselves which takes so long to do that was a tangent and a half, guys. Yes. Sorry about that. Hey. <laughs> so what I look for in a denim overall is going to be, I like like a mid-rise denim on the waist, but then I like a high-rise like on the on the leg part, like where, where your zipper goes. You get it, you know? I like them to be pretty much cropped, so enough where I can do one cuff, but not more than like two or three. Bam. Yeah, one cuff. Right I think there. it looks nice. So yeah, guys, if you invest in a good pair of denim, uh, Maybe check out one of these brands that we mentioned because they'll last you a long time. And if you're going the economical route, just go with some H&M or Mambo Cotton or Cotton On. If you guys need some suggestions for denim, definitely check out these brands below. We'll have links to all of them below and I'll try to get specific models that we actually wear if we can find them and put those together so you can see which ones we personally wear. I also think I have a discount code for Hudson Denim. So if I have that, I will put it in the description for you guys. That's cool. Um, maybe Cotton On also. I feel like I have a few floating around. So any discounts codes will be in the description. Be sure to check them out. Comment your favorite denim below. Tell us what we missed, what we should check out, because there are so many denim brands out there that are killing it, and you know we just couldn't get to all of them. So hopefully this list is helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Like us on Instagram, at Jensen's. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? Did, did you drink take it? <laughs> no. You were slurring your words Hold too, up. dude. Like us on Instagram at Jens Lounge. Hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. And um, thanks guys. Thanks guys. <laughs>